Hi everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and I'm so glad you're here. Today's project is all about using your Cricut to create custom vinyl decals for your appliances. I'm using a Keurig that I have for my classroom because, well, you know, teaching requires lots of coffee, but you could do this for any appliance that needs a little pizzazz. This type of project, you'll need your appliance, of course, adhesive vinyl, permanent or removable is fine, a paper towel and a small spray bottle of rubbing alcohol. You're gonna need a scraper, a measuring tape, scissors, and a weeding tool. I love my Cricut weeding tool, it's my favorite. And of course, um, you'll need a standard grip mat. Now let's head over to Design Space and create a design. So here I am in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to click on my stuff since I already bookmarked some designs earlier that I might use. And once I've clicked there, I'll go to Bookmarked again, and I'll just scroll down through some of the ideas that I found earlier. I think this But First Copy is fun, and I'm going to click on Edit a Copy, and now the image is placed on my canvas. The But First is a basic cut, and the copy is also a basic cut but it is a welded image. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And next I will go click on images and browse for a coffee mug to go with the words. I think I'll just enter the word coffee and just scroll through the images that pop up. As you can see, there are literally thousands of images to choose from. I've chosen four images, which you can see down in the bottom of my canvas in the queue. You can always remove images from your queue by clicking on the red X over the image. For now, I'm just going to add them to my canvas and then decide which one will work best. All of the image come in together, so I'll separate them before continuing. And I think I'll also resize my canvas and move items off to the side so I can get a better view of everything I'm working with. Now I'll go back to shapes and create a rectangle that will be the same size as the area available for the vinyl on the front of my Keurig. I'm gonna resize the rectangle, so I will click on the top menu bar where the dimensions are listed, and I'll click the little lock, and the new width will be three, and the new height will be four. Okay, so I think I'm gonna zoom in on my canvas just a bit and start resizing my images before deciding on the one that I would like to keep. I'll change the words to white and I'm gonna bring those over onto the box. And once they're on top of the, or in the box, then I'll need to go to arrange and click on bring to front. Okay, then a quick resize. Now I'm gonna play around with a few options for the coffee cup. I'm gonna change the color again to white for all of the images. Next, I'm going to duplicate the rectangle that I made and the, the words three more times, just to see if I like that um, combination with the other three images that I brought in. I do have to remember to center the words and the images horizontally with the rectangle so that everything looks aligned evenly. I also wanna change the color, maybe add a heart or two. I'll change all the images to white and that way I can decide which one I like the best. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the top right and the bottom right as well. And then the one from the bottom left, I'll just move up to the side. Actually, I think 
I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the first one, which was on the left, my original design, and do a quick resize. Now I need to weld the entire design together so that Design Space will cut this as one cohesive image. And you can see it shows up as a weld result at the top of my Layers panel. Next, I'll click Make and see what the cut preview looks like. If I wanted to make several of these, I could increase the number of project copies up here in the top left. For instance, if I wanted to do four decals, I would do four and then hit apply. Since I'm just a party of one, I think I'm just gonna cut one, but before I cut, I want to cancel and make sure that I save my project. I can even add the project to a particular collection in my design space. So now it's time to click make and get this cut out. I can see my design in the top left of the mat and I'll just hit continue. I can really put it anywhere as long as the physical mat and the virtual mat placements match. After connecting with my maker, I can select my materials and my tools. Today I'm choosing premium vinyl removable and I like to use more pressure. And my fine point blade is actually already in my machine. I really like how Design Space just walks you through every single step and makes it so easy. Okay, my mat is now loaded with my vinyl in the top left corner and Design Space will prompt me to hit the flashing load arrows and then the play button. In real time, it probably took about, about two to three minutes to cut the design. This video has been sped up. Okay, all done. Now I'm gonna turn my mat over and pull the mat away from the vinyl and this will help keep the vinyl flat instead of curling up on us, which is what we really don't want. Okay, now it's time to weed and this is my favorite part. I'll use my weeding tool to help with some of the small um, stubborn pieces that maybe are trying to come up. But overall, I think it's gonna be a pretty easy design to weed. Okay, let's get rid of these inner pieces. Oh, and if there's anything that needs to be repositioned, I will also take care of those. Okay, now I'm gonna apply my transfer tape to my vinyl. I'll just cut a little bit here to make sure it's the right size. And I'm gonna burnish well on both sides before removing the carrier sheet. And as a side note, you can always use your transfer tape over again, as long as it isn't looking a little milky or that it still has its stick. Okay, now for the good part. Let's put this design on the coffee maker. I'm gonna start by cleaning the surface with rubbing alcohol. I have a simple spray bottle from the Dollar Tree that I just decorated with pink shimmer vinyl and this definitely comes in handy. Okay, let's get this situated here. I'm just going to use one of my marble coasters to keep it rocking uh, from rocking onto its side. Okay, so time to get this into position. Awesome. This looks so good. Now I'm gonna burnish this down really, really well. Okay, it's time to pull up the transfer tape. Let's see, that little T is giving me a problem. We'll just set them off to the side. Okay, so I'm just going to put this back. Um, sorry for the random headshot here. Um, this letter just had to be a little bit honorary today. Okay, I think it's time for the big reveal. Oh my, this looks fantastic.
I am super happy with how this turned out. Now, while it takes me forever to settle on a design, this really was a very simple project that you can do, regardless of whether you are a Cricut beginner or you've been around the Cricut community for a long time. Okay, thanks for hanging with me today. I hope this video was helpful and inspires you to craft a little pizzazz into every day. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.